my computer today. It keeps freezing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about, because of my major life change with my fractured tibia, you know, shattered tibia, and me still recovering and stuff like that, I'm making changes. So, my YouTube channel and my blog focused a lot on me living on the road, the nomadic life, and then it focused on me um, building a homestead in New Mexico when I bought a piece of property there last summer. However, after I fell and had my surgery, um, all that changed. I can't do that, at least not right now. So I've been making a lot of changes in my life. I'm having trouble getting used to it. Uh, but, you know, it's okay. I'm getting used to it. Um, so I'm making changes to my blog, possibly my YouTube channel. I'm not so sure. I'm, gonna ch I, I'm just going to, you know, just change the content, tweak it a little bit. So anyways, my first change. I have been very, very anxious to start driving again. And I've gotten to the point where I believed I could. The problem was my truck. I could not get in and out of it. It was too high. What is in my hair? A bug. It was too high, and so getting up was difficult. And then the pressure, you know, getting down, the pressure could be too much on my knee and stuff. I had to be very, very careful. It was just too hard. I got frustrated. So my son and I talked about it. Come on, camera. <laughs> we talked about it. He said, Well, let's just sell it and get you something else. So we sold my truck. I'm currently looking for a new car. I'm looking for something. A lot, and it's it, right now. I'm just looking for a used car on the cheap side because I'm still saving more money. I'm going to get something better eventually, but this is just for right now. I need something better with gas mileage because you know now I've got medical bills. Um, so I'm you know something like a Kia Kia Soul or like an Element. Now the reason for this is because I want to build out the back so I could go car camping because I'm not I'm not willing to give up camping. Okay, I'll give up living on the road. We're building a homestead. I'm not giving up camping. So I want to build it out and make it so I can car camp. So as soon as I find something, I'm going to start building it out. There will be videos on that. Um, what I'm going to do at first is start camping close to home. As you can see, the woods behind me, uh, there are plenty of places to camp around here. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, I know in October, for those of you who live on the eastern side of the country, if you know of the restaurant called Bob Evans, the farm is in southern Ohio. And in October, they always have a, a Bob Evans Farm fest Festival. And you can boondock there. Boondock is dry camping. So I plan on going there the middle of October. Uh, we will be having videos on that. I'll be car camping and participating in the festival. And my son and daughter-in-law might join me. Um, I would like to car camp in Cooks Forest, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to probably car camp all over Ohio, probably eastern, Pen or I'm sorry, western Pennsylvania. And then, I, you know, as I'm feeling better, my leg is getting stronger, I will, I will be branching out from there. So my videos are going to be a lot about that. My blog, I have not been writing. I've only been posting my videos because I haven't had a laptop in a while. And I, I cannot text a, a, a blog post. This is too much for me. I can barely do a regular text and message to someone. Um, so I'm in the market for a new laptop so that I could start writing in my blog. So I am going to re-separate. That blog was originally to showcase my art because I was selling a lot of it at one time. Um, and then it just started going into me also living the nomadic life and also being about my homestead. So I think I'm going to start an additional blog and have that about, um, you know, car camping all around and travel because we are going to have videos for uh, featuring Christmas in Finland in December because I will be spending Christmas in Finland with my daughter-in-law's family. Um, so it's going to be a separate blog with... Um, you know, the, the traveling. But I'm also going to still be, when I get back to it, 
you know, my recipes for homemade products. We're going to get back into that. Um, and my various other recipes, you know, like I shared my apple pie with you guys and my crust. Um, I am very shortly going to be doing one probably this week on my strawberry jam. Um, so we'll have that kind of stuff on the separate blog. The blog I currently have, which is called uh, Gypsy Witch Creations, features my art and we talk more about spirituality and stuff. So it is going to be about that. Those of you who are interested in camping and travel, definitely on this channel and in my blog, which I have not created the new one yet, but I will be shortly and I will share it with you. That's going to be all about, well, mostly camping because it's what I do mostly. I love to be out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the woods, roughing it. Um, you know, I'm sure once in a while I'll do something ritzy, uh, but mostly it's that, you know, that's, that's my thing. <laughs> so it'll be mostly that. It'll be a travel blog more or less and sharing those other kinds of things. Um, when I get the name of that blog, I will let you guys know. So I did sell my truck right now. I'm borrowing my man's car driving. I am start. I start drive this week, so I went to go see my mother on Friday. I'm going tomorrow's Monday. I'm going back tomorrow, so I can. Cause she's like five minutes up the road. Now I can go do anything I want because I could. You know, I just fold up my walker, put it over me in the seat next to me, and I take off. I park in my handicapped parking space, and I do the opposite. It was so nice. I met my sister for lunch the other day, and I was getting out of the car. I put my uh, walker down parking lot and I opened up just as I opened it up these two young men they had to have been around 20 so sweet they saw me there do you need help I mean just so sweet. I said no thank you I just I, I'm got it open I'm ready to jump out of here I said but thank you guys so much which is so nice of them I don't know they were maybe in their 20s at least they looked like it I mean they were just just nice young men it was very nice of them to offer that not their help um, yes, yeah, so that's why I don't believe the shit that they talk about. <laughs> you know, it's going on. It's, we're divided. There's racism, this, that. No, you know, everybody hates each other. That's not my experience. It isn't. I mean, you know, in the area I live in, in Northeast Ohio, especially when I go into the suburbs of Cleveland, you have so much diversity and everybody's nice. And I'm like, where are people getting this shit from? I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know. But anyway, so that's the updates. I'm trying to think if there's any other updates. Yeah. I need to get back to, like, off-grid in the woods or up in the mountains. I don't think I want to do I want to try to get a hold of my cousin. I, I don't have his contact anymore because I'm no longer on Facebook. But he has inherited my grandparents' farm. I want to camp on my grandparents' farm. I'll cry. I don't know if I could do video because I might cry bring back all those memories and stuff um yeah so that's where it is now um so i'm going to be separating things as soon as i get my hands on the laptop i'm going to start writing blog posts again oh and another thing i'm considering writing a book I haven't made a final decision yet i'll know when i get a new computer but i am thinking about that and i think as i'm writing it like maybe if i finish a chapter i'll put it on my blog whatever but i am thinking about that I've had a strange and crazy life, everybody. It's been a wild ride. So I thought I might write about it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so got that. My recovery is going great. I've been discharged from um, home health care. And I am this close to ditching the walker and using my cane. I'm very, very close. Not it's like I could do it, but my I would not get very far. I'd tire out real quick because I still have the pain. Doctor said that's normal. And my knee is still weak. It's still too weak, but I've learned how to put more uh, weight on the cane. Yeah, you have to practice with it. There's like a sequence. So I'm learning. I have to put more of my weight on the cane. So anyways, things are going great. Had a lot of changes in my life. I don't know so much of the YouTube. I don't know if the YouTube channel's really going to change that much. I'm bored to death with, well, all my stuff because I've been recovering from this injury and I haven't been able to do much. So now I'm starting to get my life back, becoming more active. It's going to get better again. You know, where, you know, my recipes, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing strawberry jam this week. I promise you guys. Um, I did my first batch. 
That's why my sister met me for lunch, just to get some strawberry, not to spend time. She wanted my strawberry jam. So I gave that to her, gave some to my son and daughter-in-law, just gave some to our tenants next door. Um, my sister, when we were leaving, you know, she said goodbye when we had lunch. She goes, which jam's next? <laughs> I, said, I said, blueberry. She's like, oh, that one's my favorite. Everybody loves my blueberry jam. But anyways, we're going to be doing all this stuff. Um, yeah. So I think that's it. Just updates about, well, everything. Because my life has changed again. It's like sh sh going real fast now. So anyways, I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be and make it a joyful one.